Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the URLs and the paths. So, what is the meaning of this one? We have already learned about the hyperlinks, creating the hyperlinks, how to create the hyperlinks in a HTML document. We have seen in that create in that hyperlink, we have an attribute that is nothing but href attribute. That means hypertext reference. So, in that href attribute we will be providing the path we will be providing the path as a value for this href attribute property so the path means so what are the what is the content that we have that we can provide in this href is the url or a path so what is the difference between this url and the path and what is the difference between absolute url and the relative url let's try to see in this video to fully understand the link targets, link targets means nothing but the href attribute. Sometimes we call it as a target also. You need to understand URLs and the file paths. This section gives you the information you need to achieve this. A URL. The full form of this URL is Uniform Resource Locator. It is a string of text that defines where something is located on the web. For example, Google homepage is located at www.google.com. So this is the complete address of this Google home page. So it defines the, it, it, it is a string of text that defines, so what is uh, present in that particular web. URL uses paths to find files. Paths specify where the file you are interested in is located in the file system. So URL use the path to find the file systems. So another one what I want to explain you is the document fragment. So let's try to see this one. So this real time implementation so that you will try to understand. Now here let's say that we are having the links. Now the thing what we have given is an URL. Okay. This is also called as an absolute path. So what is the meaning of this absolute path is for example let's try to see the output. Yeah here not the document fragments we will see afterwards about these document fragments. Yeah absolute absolute URL points to a location defined by its absolute location on the web so what including the protocol and domain name so what is the thing we have seen here so we have mentioned here HTTPS google.com so when we try to see this one it need to move to the Google home page now if I try to open this one in the browser you will be able to see the Google home page hyperlink and this one is an absolute URL no matter where you provide this one so this path in any in any web page so this one will remain the same so that is the meaning of this absolute URL so wherever you can use it in any page you want it so you can copy this one and you can use this location wherever in any web page you want or any, any document you want you can write it so it will always move to the Google home page so that means wherever it may be it will behave the same so that is the meaning of this absolute points to location defined by an absolute location on the web including protocol and the domain for example, if an index.html page is uploaded to your directory called projects, then that sits inside the root of a web server and the website domain is httpexample.com, the page would be available at www.example.com slash projects slash index.html. For example, let's say that in the absolute URL, so if you are having a projects folder inside you are having an index.html file means, so it will be something like example.com slash projects slash index.html. So this is how it will be presented absolute url will always point to the same location no matter where it is used so no matter where you can you use this absolute url it will point to the same location it will not point to the other location all the time it will be same only relative url points to a location that is relative to this file so that relative to the present file so this relative url will behave so let's try to see this one in the in the practical example so that you will try to understand so here you are having this absolute URL, right? Now let's try to see the relative URL. So relative URL means nothing but, for example, let's say that I am having uh, go to the quotes page, okay? Quotes page or something like blog, uh, go to the yeah, quotes page, you will use the quotes page. So now we are having Codes page so codes.html this is the file present for us and we need to go to the codes page now if I try to see the output for this one how it will look like so here if I click on this one it will not work so what we need to provide we need to provide a hyperlink for this one so we will have an href 
and let's try to paste it here okay now we need to provide the href va attribute value to this one so now we know that this is an absolute url so right now our code space doesn't have this type of absolute url path so it is relative to the it, it is present inside this file system only in the file system in the present the page where it is resided in this file system only this space, code space is also located so for this reason for, for that one what we can do is you can also use the you can also use directly links.html you need to understand the difference between those two now the file links.html sorry the the file links.html and the codes.html so present is present in the same level so it is present in the same location where the links.html is present so for that reason so we can directly use the codes.html directly here now if i try to see the output so if i click on this one so it will move to the codes page without any problem okay so now for example let's say that i am having a projects contact.html so now i want to use this contact.html so how can i use this contact.html let's try to see so i will try to remove these all the things okay so contact.html now let's go to the links.html here so here i will be using go to the contact page now you need to understand one thing that the contact page is not located on the same level so it is not located on the same level where the links.html is located so the contact.html page is located in the projects inside the projects folder you will be having contact.html for this reason what you need to do so here i can write in a such a way that so here i need if i use directly contact.html the page net will not work so for example if i try to see the output the page will not work so it is telling that i am unable to find this contact.html file so what is the reason so contact.html is not present on the same level where the links.html is present it is present inside the projects folder so for that reason you need to mention projects slash contact.html now if i try to see the output if i click on this one so you'll be able to see the contact page now let's try to see the another scenario so this is called as relative so this is this file is present relative the, this path is present relative to this links.html file now for example let's say that we are in the contact.html file now here i want to go to the codes page okay so here i'll write go to the codes page so we know that codes page means so i can use href is equal to so like this i can use now if i try to see the output so here we can be able to see that go to the uh, if i go to the contact page i am able to see the go to the codes page now i want to add the path for this one so let's say that to the codes page now we are in the projects folder the contact.html we are trying to write the data in the contact.html now you need to understand that we are in the contact.html which is present in the projects folder now we need to we, we cannot directly add codes.html here why because in the projects folder that codes.html file is not present so what we need to do here so we need to go to the up one level so in order to go to the up one level we need to write dot dot slash okay so if you keep one dot dot slash so now it we it moves to the one level up in the to the projects folder now the projects folder and also the codes.html file both are on the same level now it will be able to find it now if i try to see the output here so now if i click here it will go to the codes page see so this is this is called as an relative page so if it is not present so if, if this is relative to this contact.html file now in the in the code in the links.html we have written directly codes.html directly here like this why because the links.html file and the codes.html file are directly so they both are on the same level so there is no need to use this dot dot slash to move one level up whereas the contact.html is one level deeper inside the projects folder so because of that reason we need to come up one level so that we are on the same level with the with the codes folder with the codes file sorry and we need for for coming up we need to give we need to give dot dot slash so if you want to go one level up means you need to give again dot dot slash so like this you will be going on giving so this is called as relative url relative path and absolute path is absolute path is already we have seen this is the absolute path so wherever may be whatever may be the file so here whether it may be a contact file whether it may be a description list file link file whatever may be the file 
so it will be in the same it will the url will be always the same it will not change the url will not change whereas for the relative path it need to be relative to this present file so wherever you are using so to that file relatively we need to provide the file path so this is the difference between absolute url and also the relative url and also we have another thing that is nothing but document fragment so let's assume that we have uh, what i can say list.html so let's say that we have a list.html file so here in the links.html i am providing that so p go to the list page now if i try to click href is equal to so here i am having list page and here i can give something like list.html so now if i try to open this course page okay sorry links.html right links.html if i try to provide links.html now in this links.html you will be able to see here list page is there now if i try to click on this list page we are able to go to this one right so we are able to open this uh, list.html file so now for example let's say that i want to move whenever i want to move here so now when i am clicking on this list page so here we are able to see the shopping items shopping items and directions for this school so now whenever i open this list page from from this link page i want to move directly to the directions for this school so that means here what i want to write is so here go to the list direction okay directions page now if i try to click on this one directly in the list page so it is going to the top but it should not go to the top it should directly go to the bottom so we can also define the document page position also so we can so by default it will be the top of the document so if you want you can move to the, the so certain point of the document also we can move this one so how we can move this one is so let's go to the list.html file to whatever you want to go so you need to provide an id for this one so for example let's say that i am providing id for this one directions okay now for these directions now let's go to the links here i want to go to the list.html hash direction so you need to provide the directions here so this is a hash hash symbol or pound symbol whatever may be so hash symbol we need to provide and the id of the look okay, id of the element to which you need to move to move the document so we need to provide the id here now if you try to see here let's go to in this one let's i am trying to refresh and i am clicking on this directions page if i click here see automatically the document has moved to the bottom where the directions has been located so like this also we can add the url path here not only for to, to moving to another document in the same direct in the same document also you can move it for example let's say that here go to the directions i am i am writing the directions okay directions now here you can provide directly hash directions you can provide directly the same thing you can provide the directions like this now if i try to see the output here so you will be having a button uh, sorry you will be having an hyperlink here directions now i want when i when the user clicks on this one directly it need to the document has to move down so it need to show the directions for this school directly so if you want to show this one so you need will be clicking on these directions automatically the document will be scrolled down so this is this is happening that whenever you add the document fragment so this is called as an document fragment whenever you are adding this document fragment so hash followed by the id of this particular element it will search for that particular element with that id so if it is present means it will go to that particular location directly so these are the different types of file paths or urls or document fragments given in the anchor link href attribute so this is this is the different uh, this is the difference between absolute url relative url path and also the document fragment hope you understood about this document fragment and the absolute url and the relative url if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you